Machine DNA is a unique and patented technology that captures the performance characteristics of a machine tool. The captured data can then be used in the design of the toolpath and the subsequent NC program to make sure that we can achieve maximum performance on the machine tool and we do not exceed the machine tool's performance limits within the NC program. The first strategy in PAML 2013 to make use of the machine DNA technology will be the Vortex high performance roughing strategy. The machine DNA software runs in the plugin mechanism within PAML. So once we've installed the machine DNA plugin, then we simply activate the plugin by right clicking around the border and switching on the plugins. So here we can see the machine DNA profiler as it's called. And the first thing we need to do is create a new test for a, a machine tool that we want to analyze. The performance information that is gathered by the machine DNA profiler is stored inside the machine tool MTD file. So this is the machine tool simulation file within PowerMill. So the first thing we do is specify a machine tool MTD file that we want to store the data in. And then we also need to know about the controller for the machine. In this case it's a Siemens controller. So the actual profile will extract the machining envelope from the MTD file if it exists. If not we can just type the values in. We also need to enter a maximum feed rate that the machine can achieve. This information is entered to make sure that the NC program that is generated to perform the tests on the machine does not exceed the machine's limits in XYZ or its feed rate. Next we need to enter an output path to store the information. So I'm just going to put that on the desktop. And also a folder for the desktop where this information is going to be put into. So I'm just going to create a folder. And then when we hit save, several files will be written out to the folder we created in the first step. If we just take a look inside this folder that we create, you can see uh, it's basically created uh, an MPF file which is uh, an NC program in Siemens format for in this case a DMU 160p machine. So this NC program is now uh, loaded onto the machine control and executed and at the end of the program we will have a new file on the control which contains the performance characteristics of the machine. The file will be called data.mpf in this case and the next stage of the profiler is to read that data file and analyze that data. Okay so it's done the analyzation and now we need to save that back out to our MTD file. Now when we create our Vortex toolpath with that MTD file, with the performance characteristics of the machine stored within it, the Vortex will use that information in the construction of the toolpath. So if we import a machine tool with the machine DNA data, we're now going to create two toolpaths based on cutting two different materials, in this case an aluminium material, a softer material and then a harder mould steel material with different sets of feeds and speeds for those materials and the Vortex toolpath will be different for each of those materials. It will extract the information from the machine tool and design the toolpath accordingly for those different materials and different feeds and speeds. So if we go to the settings for a batched Vortex toolpath we have, I'm going to simply select the machine tool, go to 
my feeds and speeds. I'm going to activate my tool uh, that has speeds and feeds for aluminium material. And then I'm just going to use the calculated values uh, based upon that machine tool for those feeds and speeds for that material for minimum radius and point spacing and calculate. Okay, so there we can see the vortex toolpath. I'm now going to clone that toolpath uh, and this time we're going to change the tool to a tool that has beads and feeds stored with it for a hardened mold steel. So let's just reset our feeds and speeds and apply them to the toolpath so you can see that the feeds and speeds have updated and so have all the surface speed and other parameters. And then let's recalculate that toolpath itself. So we can see straight away that the toolpaths are totally different. If we look from above, so this is the vortex toolpath for the mold steel, and then we have the vortex toolpath for the aluminium. So a uh, totally different toolpath. So basically the Vortex uh, toolpath has extracted the performance characteristics of the machine uh, in terms of what it's capable of, in terms of acceleration, jerk, etc. and has designed the toolpath accordingly to get the most out of that machine tool without exceeding the machine's performance limits.